World Heritage Sites are cultural landmarks that can help inform our understanding of human history. But these portals into lost worlds and ancient times are at risk, as the climate emergency threatens their survival. If we lose our heritage, we lose what makes us human, so the threat of climate change on heritage gives us even more of a reason to get a grip on climate change. Hello guys, it's Lexi Alford from Lexi Limitless and today we are going to discover iconic historical landmarks around the world at risk due to climate change with Google Arts and Culture. Ever since people started to burn fossil fuels during the Industrial Revolution, human activities have been heating the planet and accelerating the rate of climate change. And while the climate emergency is bad for our planet and future, it's threatening our history as well. Heritage sites around the world help us explore and connect with earlier cultures and learn about our ancestors' different stories of risk, adaption, and resilience. Our first stop is in Rapa Nui, Polynesia. While many know it as Easter Island, its original name, Rapa Nui, comes from the indigenous people that lived there. It was inscribed into the UNESCO World Heritage Site list in 1995, but now this stunning island and its culture are in peril. Rising sea levels in the Pacific have created swells in the sea surrounding the island. These swells create bigger waves that eat away at the rocks and sediments on the coast, causing erosion. As the rocks fall into the ocean, the waves wash away a part of the shore, including various archaeological remains like Moai, also known as the Easter Island head statues. However, erosion isn't a problem only found in Rapa Nui. It also affects the historical port city of Kilwa Kisiwani in Tanzania. Located on the Indian coast, Kilwa Kisiwani was described as one of the most beautiful cities by a 14th century traveler. The forts, palaces, and mosques you can still see today demonstrate the important role the city played as a key trade center in the region. But rising sea levels, heavy rainfall, and subsequent drier weather impact the structural stability of these heritage sites and leave them exposed to deterioration. Meanwhile, across the Indian Ocean in the Bay of Bengal, there's the historic mosque city of Bagrat in Bangladesh. It was inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1985. This 15th century landmark is being threatened by extremely high concentrations of salt in the area's soil and water. Access to fresh water in Bagrat isn't a new issue. The city was designed with a network of reservoirs and cisterns to ensure fresh water access all year round. The problem is now the exacerbation of rising sea levels causing an increase of salt water seeping through the buildings. As the water evaporates, salt remains inside the structures, exposing the buildings to aggressive weathering and disintegration over time. On the other side of the world, in the deserts of Peru, lies what was once the capital city of the pre-Columbian Chimu civilization in Chan Chan. Located on the northern coast of the country, this heritage site is being threatened by the increased frequency of El Nino weather events. More extreme periods of rainfall, drought, and rising groundwater levels in the area are putting the structural stability of the building's foundation at risk, creating microclimates inside when the structures are covered. This particular region is home to 52% of Peru's population. All of them are at risk. Finally, our last stop is in Scotland's capital, Edinburgh. Inscribed on the World Heritage List in 1995, the old and new towns extend over 1.87 square miles and contain approximately 4,600 buildings. However, increased rainfall due to the increase in the average global surface temperature is putting this heritage site at risk. According to the Climate Change Committee, Scotland's annual rainfall has risen 13% since the 1970s. As a result, we are seeing more landslides, 
flooding and precipitation near Edinburgh's castle, threatening to collapse the structure in years to come. But all hope isn't lost. Around the globe, heritage site professionals and volunteers are working together and using technology to investigate and adapt to the impacts of climate change. By sharing knowledge and resources with local and global networks, these communities have managed to build resilience and better preserve their heritage while the world works to address the climate emergency and prevent it from being lost for good. We owe it to our future generations.